two flights later and an hour long Uber drive and we made it to the World Equestrian Center in Ocala, Florida. And we made it just in the nick of time. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Addie and I are at the airport because we are heading to Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm. Where are we going there? I have a horse show coming up. That's right, so we're getting away for a few days. Addie's actually staying for like two weeks. Yeah. And we're gonna go have some fun with horses. Mm -hmm. I think our plane is just pulling up. Mm -hmm. We have two flights we're doing today. So first flight we're going through Atlanta. Atlanta and then we have a little layover in Atlanta and then we'll head on to Florida. Addie's hoping to school today, which means get on her horse and practice because her competition starts tomorrow, Tomorrow, right? So we're yeah. hoping we make it in time for that. I should mention too that Addie is also filming for her channel and she's gonna show a lot more behind the scenes at WEC and at the horse show. Mm -hmm. So you have to check it out on Addie. Yeah, so for my channel, I'm gonna do a behind the scenes and some pretty deep detail. And then I'm also gonna do a tour of WEC and it's a ginormous place and I've only been there once to stay at the hotel when we went to go buy Posh and it was huge and I only saw like a fraction of it. And what does WEC stand for? Um, World Equestrian Center. We filmed a vlog um, in March going to the World Equestrian Center in Ohio and that's like really small compared to the WEC in Florida. I'm so excited to explore and to film a vlog for y'all so make sure you go check that out on my channel because I think it's so much fun. I've heard that it's called the Disneyland for horse people. I'm really excited for it. Two flights later and an hour long Uber drive and we made it to the World Equestrian Center in Ocala, Florida. And we made it just in the nick of time. The schooling rings where Addie has a chance to practice on posh clothes in about 20 minutes. So we got Addie all ready, got the horse tacked up, and we're out here getting a little bit of practice in so that she's ready to show tomorrow. While we arrived today, Addie's horse Posh actually came here yesterday. She drove out on a long 12 hour trailer ride that left Nashville early in the morning and arrived here in Florida yesterday late evening. This morning we're sitting at our Airbnb and getting ready to head over to the World Equestrian Center for our first day, or I should say Addie's first day. <laughs> Of showing because mm -hmm. I'm not getting on a horse. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. That would make a really fun vlog. That would. Okay. We'll have to do that. Some of the moms at our barn actually do take riding lessons every now and then. You should join them. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> but tell us, Addie, what are you doing today? I'm gonna compete in a class that jumps two nine. I'm not necessarily one hundred percent. The two nine means the jumps. Two foot is nine inches. Two feet nine inches is what you're jumping over, basically. Yeah. For your competition, I never know if I'm using the right words. <laughs> you do two rounds of the course, mm -hmm. and the course has a certain order you go over the jumps in. You do two rounds of it, and you're scored. And there's a lot of people competing today, if I understand correctly. Yeah, we have like. 85 rounds or 85 people in our class. That's a lot of competitors. Yeah. But it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. So we're excited to go cheer her on this morning. We've made it to the World Equestrian Center and Addie's gotten Posh out of her stall and it's time for Posh to have a bath because she's a little dirty and she's got to be nice and shiny and clean before she goes for her show today. It's actually pretty cold here right now. It's about 45 degrees and so we're really thankful that these wash stalls have warm water so Posh gets to have a nice warm bath on a kind of chilly day. stuck in her tail. Sadie's really trying to get all that bedding out, get the tail clean, and get the white parts of her hair to really like sparkle and shine. Posh does not like to have her face wash. It's not one of her favorite things. Growing up, I didn't have much interaction with horses at all. 
But one thing I know is I was always told you never stand behind a horse. Like, they can never stand behind a horse. It's unsafe, they can kick you. But one thing I've noticed is that equestrians are always standing behind their horses. I've really got no explanation for this or <laughs> comment. I mean, it you're just right behind the legs. I mean, like, like it, we can tell when they're mad. <laughs> so it's just because some people can't tell when they're mad. And when they're mad, that's when they'll kick. But I mean, now Paul's just like happy and eating and whatever. And she's just letting me do my thing behind her. She's just eating. She's vibing. So she's in a good mood. So I'm behind her. One of the fun things about being here at the World Equestrian Center is that the property is massive. There are so many barns, there are so many arenas, there are stores, and I mean, it's just, it's just huge. I get to ride this electric bike around. I keep calling it a motorcycle, but then Addie keeps correcting me and telling me it's not a motorcycle, Mom. Because I use this thing, and if it was a motorcycle, <laughs> I wouldn't be allowed to ride it. This is true. So. I get to ride the electric bike around while Addie mm -hmm. rides off on her horse, and it's pretty fun. All right, here I go, ready? Woo! And we lost her. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's coming back. I have to say I feel pretty super cool on this with the wind blowing my hair and speeding around. Although, yesterday something embarrassing happened. Ooh, what? I didn't get to this. You didn't hear it? I don't no. think I told you this. So I was trying to stop and get off of it and I was walking the bike in, but I forgot I didn't turn it off. <sighs> and so I turned the handle that Ooh. makes the bike go and it kind of like flew. Oh, um, yeah. And like fell over. Yeah. It was, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> We're walking over to the arena where Addie was practicing in yesterday, but today we're going in and Addie is actually competing. I'm watching Addie warm up behind me and I can tell that she's feeling a little bit nervous. So I'm hoping she's able to just relax and realize that today is just the first day of two, work, two weeks worth of showing. So I'm hoping she's just gonna take this as a learning experience. You know, things are gonna go well on her first time out, things are gonna go wrong on the first time out. So just learn today and hopefully she just can relax and have fun on Posh. I think all in all, she did really great for her first day out here. I can tell she's a little bit in her head though right now and not feeling super wonderful about her performance, but I am really proud of her and it looked awesome to me. Well, we left you guys hanging. It was the first day of WEC. Mm -hmm. Addie had a so-so day, wasn't feeling great. I actually went home. You were there for two whole weeks. Mm -hmm. Tell us how the rest of the two weeks went. The first week was amazing. On Sunday, the last day of the first two, the first week, I got my very first first place ribbon in an over fences jumping course with Posh. Before that, I think the highest we got was like second or third place. And she jumped higher. Mm -hmm. We jumped three foot this time. And we were originally jumping two six, but Posh didn't really like the two six. So we that just means bumped... two feet, six inches. Mm -hmm. So then we just bumped it up to three foot because she did so much better in it. And Addie actually filmed a few vlogs on her channel that you can go and watch. I don't know if they're going to be out quite yet. What did you film, Addie? So I had a similar first vlog as my mom. I had the first day of WEC, warm-up day. I had a shopping video of WEC showing all the shops and stuff. And that was really fun to film. I have two of my barn friends with me in that. And after that, I have a vlog. It was my first Hunter Derby and it was really fun. Now we were envisioning having like all of her ribbons out to show you the ribbons she won over the course of the week and some of her fun shopping stuff free purchases at the World Equestrian Center, but we don't have any of that, and that's a whole other story. Quick synopsis, what happened in 30 seconds or less? So we had a flight from Ocala to Atlanta, Georgia, and then to Tennessee, but then our flight got canceled from Atlanta to Tennessee because of there's so much snow on the floor on the ground right now. My bag got is stuck in Atlanta right now, but we had to drive like eight hours really slow to get back to Tennessee back home. And my and you bag had nothing with you. I had nothing with me, so my bag is still in Atlanta. I have all my stuff in Atlanta right now, and I think it's getting on a plane 
to come to our airport. And if you guys want to hear more about that story, we have another vlog on Tic Tac Toy Family about a snow day. And we chronicle that whole ordeal where we were a nervous wreck trying to get Addie home. Well, we're glad she's back. We mm -hmm. want to show you real quick one of her jump courses. Am I calling that the right name? Yeah, was, okay. over fences. Over fences. That she did an awesome job on. You and Posh make a great team. Thank you. Thank you.